Genesis Pro Enterprise Research Planning Solution software continues to revolutionize how industries, especially those in the manufacturing and distribution arena, operate. For that to be placed into better perspective, we are joined by the Chief Executive Officer of Sirensins, Mira Shah, who is going to shed light on how the organization has been able to cope and how the software in particular has been able to make their operations easy or difficult. Thank you so much for, for having us. Please start by introducing yourself and telling us what exactly is it that you do. Thank you so much. My name is Mi Rasha, CEO of Sin Resins Limited. In a very brief description, we are we manufacture resin, um, synthetic and water-based resin in Kenya, and we boast ourselves to be the only manufacturing company in East Africa. You've extensively talked about technology and you're among the very fast and few organizations which in the early stages automated the business processes. From where you sit, how has technology been able to have an impact in how you run your organization? Technology has played us a big role in part of what we do. We, we obviously have SysPro on board since a long time, but what I enjoy about using SysPro and not everybody is this innovative. Every year they've got new ways of doing business, new modules to offer, which will help the company. The main, why, why does a company have an ERP system? In very simple words, is to reduce cost and time. Before actually we, were, we decided to zero in on SysPro, we looked at you know, in the market to find out what is there in the market. And definitely there were uh, you know, a number of ERPs, but when it comes to the you know, the simplicity of the ERPs because you want your users to catch up as fast as they can at you know, one given time in terms of, uh, you know, using the system and understanding the, uh, the system, you know, SysPro worked for us. And that's the reason, it's a simple reason why we zeroed on uh, SysPro. It has been such a nice module. We have really loved it in our finance department because we are able to know our studying data, suppliers, and in terms of our net profit, we're able to do it on a time basis. It's such a, mod, a, mod, a nice module, finance module. We love it. You don't have to go around counting everything in the, in the store. We hold SISPO is there. You're able to check the, the amount of the material that you have, so you don't need have to, to go around and count everything here. All right. You've mentioned about uh, the, the, the inventory module. Maybe perhaps can you tell us are there any other modules which you're using and pinpoint some of the salient uh, benefits or advantages yes, that you've been able to... So we, with, with the help of SysPro last year, we went into an, a, a detailed um, module implementation of the landed cost tracking and the material requisition planning. So I'll tell you a bit about what they are. Um, so it's basically all our raw materials do come from across the continent and it can be a time cycle of between six weeks to almost three months. So to manage the inventory sometimes can be very tricky and the worst nightmare for some of the manufacturing companies in, in Africa is you're holding too much inventory um, at the cost of borrowing because your supply chains are not well managed in terms of time. Because as a business, as an owner, as a CEO, I don't want my business to have a stock out of if one raw material is missing, I'm out of the market for a certain product, which is the worst you know, financial loss any business can have. So in terms of inventory, we really went down to what are the reorder levels, material requisition planning. So CISPRO could tell me, looking at my history, how much inventory I should be holding, what I should be ordering, um, and then right from the, once the contract has been booked for an order, right from the time it leaves the supplier's uh, port, right down to when it arrives to Mombasa, to ICD, we can track what, where, the, where the shipment has reached, when it's going to arrive. So we, we were more informed, more data was given to us from CISPRO in terms of how we could plan our future orders, how we could plan our inventory. We were made sure we were not holding too much because sometimes when you're doing manual, if you leave out some details, you end up taking a wrong decision which will really hurt the business. So that's what really helped us. The entire 
landed cost tracking, we call it LCT and uh, material requisition planning, MRP. Every department is taken care of because uh, we have departments like uh, quality control. There is a, a program or a module within CISPRO that is taking care of how we are receiving materials in the system, in the system how that material is getting uh, you know, analyzed and inspected before we can pass it to the customers. Well, I'll take a scenario from our production side. We usually receive our materials from the raw materials department. Uh, we've been able to use the system to avoid uh, scenarios where you have undersupply or oversupply of materials. So we're able to save in terms of matching uh, the materials we get with our manufacturing capabilities. Yeah, with that we save time and cost, and also saving costs, and thus we're able to deliver our products on time to our customers, and thus you know increasing the productivity flow in our system. I've been able to capture products uh, on various lots. I'm able to check the produ uh, products from uh, production bins, yeah, and monitor them to and fro. If we have a problem, let's say we've received a sample from a particular supplier, I'm able to trace back to that supplier and say this lot had a problem and that we are able to transition from that lot to even issuance for our productions. To be very honest, CISPRO 8 has give, given us so much value addition to something we were not aware. We, didn't, we signed up for you know, this much value addition, but we got a lot more out of it. So I think I would recommend a lot of people who are on CISPRO to move to CISPRO 8. Go for it. Um, let alone just saving on costs and you know, uh, delivering goods on time. Uh, the user interface is really easy to use. Everybody in your team can be able to learn really fast and effectively just making everybody just come in as a team player and move on.